Welcome to the Innovative Surface Solutions Knowledge Nugget of the Week, bite-sized facts about de-icing and dust control. Innovative Surface Solutions, celebrating 35 years of keeping you safe from highways to driveways. Salt brine is a popular anti-icing tool for many public works departments and contractors. Many factors must be understood about salt brine before implementing it into your operation. The most important is the concentration of the salt brine you're choosing. 23.3% is the optimal concentration for salt brine. This will allow it to have the lowest possible freeze point at a temperature of minus six degrees Fahrenheit. Why is this concentration so important? Too much salt and too little salt raise the freeze point of the liquid, causing it to freeze on the surface. A 26% salt brine will freeze at 30 degrees Fahrenheit. At this concentration, there will not be enough moisture for the brine to start working. A 20% concentration will freeze at zero degrees Fahrenheit, but a 20% salt brine dilutes much quicker than a 23.3% salt brine. This is why 23.3% solution is essential to giving you the most time possible before dilution of solution causes refreeze. Tools like a refractometer are essential to checking your salt brine salinity and assuring product integrity. Having too much salt in your salt brine also will increase the probability of fallout. Fallout is when the salt solids come out of solution with the liquid. These solids can plug up spray nozzles, which will require cleaning. It will also not allow the salt brine to be sprayed properly and will have a negative impact on the anti-icing operation. Understanding the importance of concentration is the key to understanding how to use this tool. There are many options that can be used for anti-icing and understanding the risks of each material is key to finding out which product is right for you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to us at www.innovativecompany.com. While you're there, don't forget to sign up for a reminder on the next Knowledge Nugget of the Week.